Good morning, stampers and crafters. Thank you for joining me today. It's Maria Russell here. I'm back for the greeting farm as a guest designer for this month. And today I'm going to show you how I made these two cute cards here. They're very simple and you can easily mass produce these cards. I am using this stamp set by the greeting farm called Ho Ho Holidays. This is a really cute stamp set with the Santa there, the Christmas tree, some presents, a teddy bear, and the three elves. And I've made these two cards. If you would like to see the process video, then please keep watching. I started out by stamping my images on Nina Solar White cardstock. This is the 80 pound cardstock and I'm inking that with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I will be using my Copic markers to color the images. I'm not going to show you a lot of the coloring here but I will be able to show you how I color the face and the little elves. And with their faces, I'm only using two Copic markers, which is E000 and E00. And that is because I didn't really want to saturate the paper too much. And I'm either using two Copic markers or just one. So over here, I'm using G46. And then the darker color is G28. And then I will be blending those together just to give it some real deep green color. And for the red, I'm using R29, which is my favorite Christmas red color. And then I'm going to darken that up with R39, blend them together just to give it more of a deep red. And then once I'm done with that, I will be die cutting all the images with the coordinating dies. And then I am going to use my multi-medium mat to adhere the little pom-poms on their little hats. And just so that this video doesn't take too long, I already have the card base there and I'm just adhering this colorful pattern paper on the front of the card. And then I'm going to use that stitch scallop edge to die cut that piece. And then I'm also going to use one of my dies from my stash to die cut the windows in the front of the card. And then also use some pattern paper here just to add to the windows there so that it's not stark white. And then I'm going to adhere the little elves with my foam adhesive. And I'm back now using my stamping tool to just stamp the sentiment on the front of the card. And then I will be decorating it further to finish off the design with some of the images that I have already colored like the presents and the candy cane. And now I'm ready to work on card number two and for the sake of time I have already die cut all of the pieces that I needed. The one that I will be coloring here in a second is a limited edition die so I can't really link it anymore. But you can always find dies like those that you see on the screen from different companies. But this is my way of actually coloring my die cuts is to use my Copic markers just so everything match. And you will see this a lot on my video because this is my favorite way of coloring the images. And now I'm actually ready to assemble my card. I already have my pattern paper there cut for my card and then I am going to adhere that die cut piece with my ATG gun. And then I have also die cut my snow banks and you will see it in a second here because I will be using my BG0000 just to color my snow banks a little bit just to make it look more realistic. And that's what I will be doing with the houses and all of the die cut pieces like the snow banks that you see here. 
And this is pretty much self-explanatory, so I'm just going to leave you with some music on and let you enjoy the process video. So I hope you guys like the cards that I have made today. Don't forget to check out the Greening Farm. They have a lot of cute stamp sets and dies. And if you like the projects, please give this video a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you on my next crafting project. Bye for now. Have an amazing day.